little in recovery. So going to the good stuff, my theme is adventure. And adventure is defined as taking a risk in the hopes of a favorable outcome. And I noticed here that lots of people are in the adventure side, and I was like, I'm going to do adventure. Like, that defines me. So I went to think, OK, what's the most three adventurous things I've done or that I've been through? And I thought, last year, my boyfriend and I were like, let's travel. So I, I called my dad. It was like summer, around this time of the year. And he's like, are you in school? And I was like, yeah, I'm in school. But I dropped all my classes, and I was like, I'm going to travel, but I didn't tell him the truth. <laughs> so my first dream was going to Italy. I wanted to see Venice before it sinks down. And my boyfriend was like, you're going to be 90 years old, and Venice is still going to be there. But I was like, I don't care. I want to go and see it. And we go there, and it was beautiful. And on the, we were going to stay there for a week. On the second day, we were walking down the street, and we got robbed. And they took all our stuff, passports, wallets, cell phones. They took, like, everything. So we didn't have any money, no one who to call. So I was like, Jesus, like, we're stranded on a country where nobody speaks English. And the guy hit me when he took my purse. So my boyfriend was like raging. He wanted to go kill the guy. And I was like, no, 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 just let it go. The last thing I need is have you in a prison where I can visit you every weekend. So we kind of let it go. <laughs> and we just went back home again. And about six weeks after that, I checked in the mail. And there I, was, I found my driver's license. And I was, what is going on? I got my driver's license two weeks earlier when I got back, and I requested a new one. This one was from Italy. So I guess the thief was considerate enough to send me my driver's license. <laughs> so I thought, OK, that's pretty sweet. And my boyfriend was like, Where, where's mine? And I was like, well, I guess he didn't like you. So that's what happened in Italy. About three months later, we went to London. That's the place he wanted to go. And again, he was carrying all of the luggage. And we were at the Heathrow Airport, which is like the busiest airport in England. And I was carrying, again, all the wallets, all cell phones, all was on me. So this is this first and only cell phone I've had. I'm kind of shocked it doesn't have an antenna, but it's OK. I loved it. And my boyfriend was like, I hate that phone. You should get an iPhone. And I was like, no, screw that. I don't want an iPhone. So we, we were in London. And I see, oh my god, like, look at this shop. And I got distracted. And I was like, I'm going to go shop something pretty quick. And he's like, we're going to miss the underground. So he we rushed us over. And he's like, I'll save you a spot. And I was like, OK. So it, it was pretty much like that scene in Home Alone where the kid is like running behind the dad at the airport. So I was like, wait for me. And just when I was about to get in, the underground just shuts the door and just leaves. And my boyfriend's like, I'll meet you at the next station. So I was like, OK, well. And I asked someone, where's the next station? And the guy's like, aren't you kidding me? And he hands me a, a map. Turns out there's about 50 different stations. <coughs> and 10 of them are all passing by the airport. So it was a mess. I didn't have, I couldn't call him because I had his phone with me. And he didn't have any money, not even an ID or anything. So bottom line, I was lost for eight hours <laughs> until I found a police station. So I guess those are really adventures that didn't have a favorable outcome at first. But it's good to tell them. And I think that even though I got robbed and after I landed back here, my boyfriend was like, you're getting an iPhone. Like, that's it. <laughs> so that's pretty much my adventure side of me. I don't care if something is going to go plain or not. So that's pretty much me.